Hello Aries, welcome to your Sunday Shuffle. This week we're going to focus on Pathways, Purpose, Prosperity. Now do keep in mind when we talk about things like Pathway, Career stuff, it can get very, very detailed and very, very specific. So if you see yourself in it and you're like, yay, this is totally me, awesome. If you don't see yourself in it at all, this is perfectly normal. Please check your other placements. You will find yourself in there somewhere, okay? What is going on, please, for Aries? Pathways, purpose, prosperity, work, abundance, career, skills, experience. What's going on, please? Show me. Aries, purpose, pathways, career, skills, experience, money. What is it? Oh, spiritual teacher. Beautiful energy. Let's see. You heal with your classes, sessions, and seminars. So some of you, well, you hold classes, sessions, or seminars in which you are a teacher or some sort of, well, someone who guides someone who guides through the spiritual realm, the light principles, some sort of educator where you help expand one's psychological, emotional, or spiritual growth, which that's already a heck of a thing. That's already a heck of a thing, okay? Energy healing, and you are focusing uh, specifically on the concept of healing, healing of the self and for others, um, emphasizing balance, meditation, practice principles, that kind of thing. Your natural energy healing abilities are an important part of your life purpose. You influence others. So the more that you practice energy healing yourself, you inspire others to do the same, okay? To show sense of compassion, equilibrium of the self, okay? Everything begins with the self. The Aries I'm looking at knows that. And it's one of those things that you endeavor to teach others or demonstrate through practice. So that is amazing, honey. I don't know what it is you actually do for a living in the real world, but I know that people look to you for a certain level of guidance, a steady hand, calm energy, a certain aura surrounds you. So you could be a bank teller for all I know, and you could exude this level of energy, and people look to you, for example, calmness, serenity. Okay, that's beautiful. I love that. That is, <laughs> one absolutely flows into the other. What's going on? I didn't. I don't know. I was expecting to see something so specific for you, and you're like, nah. <laughs> I'm kind of like a spiritual teacher type situation, Christina. You know? Oh, that's great. Okay. Judgment. Mm -hmm. Decisions before you. There are pathways in this life that you can take in terms of purpose. But you know that. I think the areas I'm looking at, you already know that. And you have options before you. You had options behind you. And they're still with you. They're still with you. Okay. And the moon. But they're not entirely known to you. you will discover them along the way. The areas I'm looking at, you're not pressed for that kind of thing. You understand these kind of feelings, emotions, and spiritual guidance will come to you in due course and in due time. You have options before you. They're just not entirely clear to you yet. And I don't know that you're necessarily pursuing them. It's kind of like there's an open flow around you that suggests it'll come to me when it's meant to come to me. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. All right, let's throw down some tarot for you. Show me. Of course, you might have some Pisces in your chart, but not the point. Show me Aries, please. Let's see if we can really hone in on you. Show me Aries, please. Show me Aries. Show me Aries. Show me Aries. Work, purpose, pathway, career, principle. What's going on there for you? Sport. Show me Aries, please. Ace of Wands, the Inspiration, Source, Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, Four of Swords, Rest, Healing Principles, Ace of Cups. Your energy's gearing up for a transition. I don't know if you know that. I strongly suspect that you do. You can feel it, even if you can't pinpoint it. Not all is yet known to you, but you seem to know that you have options. That's here. You might actually might have a couple. Um, I, one's either going to speak to your fire, sense of inspiration, creativity, passion, or one's going to speak to your heart, ace of cups. This is emotionally fulfilling as I understand it. Perhaps you're meeting somewhere in between the two. I don't know. But your reaction is joy. Yay! And then I see you going through a rest period. Um, well now, look at you. Look at you, Aries. I love it. Show me this Ace of Wands. Of course, that is your natural energy. Ace of Wands for you. Show me the Ace of Wands, please, for Aries. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I know I'm going to get this question. 
Okay, I know I'm gonna get this question, Christina. Can this apply to love? Yes, of course it can. Resonation. But that's not the point of view. Not today. Not today, hombre. I address that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> the love stuff all the time. Today we're all about that career. Show me that Ace of Wands, please. Show me that Ace of Wands. Show me that Ace of Wands. Show me that Ace of Wands. And I do see that inspiration element in you for others. I can see it. You generate a great deal of positivity, but a natural ease of calmness around you. So that's beautiful stuff. When I can see a core of fire in somebody, but it's calm around them, that means it's a really even distribution of one's personal energy with the Ace of Wands always kind of remaining a little ignited, always remaining a kind of inspired, but it's calm, it's tempered. And so people are, they can't help but look to you. Okay. And that is fantastic energy. I love that. Okay. King of Pentacles. In reality, however, you're very grounded and very stable and you have just begun to open up with the Six of Swords. Uh, I believe, yep, yeah, Sat, I just did there, so I kind of remember it. They showed me Six of Swords as well, but I'm looking at, you're showing me King of Pentacles, practically speaking, Christina. Practically speaking, from a place of comfort on my throne, okay, so again, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, this is personal home finance aspects of comfort zone, uh, stability, reliability, and resourcefulness for the home, for oneself. You're saying page one's a little bit, I've begun to open up to the idea of moving forward, uh, Six of Swords, and when you think about that, it lights you up. When the Ace of Wands is like, oh, moving on to a particularly new opportunity makes me feel good. And even practically speaking, King of Pentacles is like, practically speaking, even I can find a component to this that says, yeah, it might be a good idea. Realistically, uh, you might be able to earn more, garner more resources, or perhaps that there is just a difference in title and pay or something like that. Or perhaps some of you are thinking about, again, this Six of Swords in career can also mean travel, distance, relocation, relocation of one's business, relocation of one's personal home. Either way, regardless, you're excited by the idea of it. Prospect, page of wands. I don't see you fully engaging in this. It might be that you have an opportunity that you stumbled across that excites you, but it would require either relocation or travel. And you're saying, I'm open to it. You're open to it. Okay. Let's see that nine of cups, please. Let's see that nine of cups. Let's see that nine of cups. What are you thinking about? It? Some of you would like to be inspired to move in a particular direction at a certain speed, incorporate more travel. Or some of you are like, no, actually, I want to relocate. <laughs> I don't know. Let's take a look. Show me that Nine of Cups, please. Show me that Nine of Cups, please, for Aries. Let's see what your personal sense of joy and fulfillment is. But you got a good steady head on your shoulders, right? I'm practical, Christine. I'm reliable, but man, my, my fire is speaking to me. And I have options before me. I know it. I feel it. Okay, and it speaks more personally to me. But I like how you have a good practicality, too. Show that Nine of Cups. And three of Wands. Waiting. Three of Pentacles. Constructive effort. Nice of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. Okay. You're looking outwards. You're possibly thinking about connecting with somebody. It's going to take a minute. Nice of Pentacles. No rush, though. No rush. Uh, it's looking like a team-up effort. Whatever that is. You're thinking about teaming up with somebody for possibly some project work, bonus work, side work, side gig, that kind of thing. And kind of see, okay, let's get this started, see where it goes. It might be more prosperous in future, but we're going to start here with a nice, calm, easy three of pentacles. And if it leads to something more developing, cool. And it's coming from a personal place of satisfaction within you in that nine of cups. Like, doing this would make me happy. Working with this person would make me happy. I know that between us, we can generate something solid and there's income attached to it. It takes a minute. It takes a minute with that Knight of Pentacles, and I don't know why. Even you're like Three of Wands looking out on the... F so this might be something that doesn't happen frequently, but you know generates income. So it may not be a consistent work thing like every day. It could be that you're looking to start a business with this person in future. Or it could be something that doesn't happen very frequently, but it happens often enough that you know and identify it as being an income generator. Uh, and it, it, the idea of it, again, makes you really happy. So we're, we're looking to connect with this person relatively soon. Now, what that has to do, opening up towards this, opening up towards them, opening up towards this particular project. We have to open up towards this particular project. Let me see that Four of Swords, please. Show me that Four of Swords. Oh, sorry. I know that's probably super sharp. Sorry. Show me that Four of Swords, please. Show me that Four of Swords. Show me that Four of Swords. Show me that Four of Swords. 
Very curious. That's so specific. Unless you and I team up, we can do this. Something like that. So I don't think it's a full-time gig. It doesn't look like one. It's a gig that generates coin, but it happens infrequently. We would like to reach out to this person to get that going. Four of Swords. Oh, death. The Empress. Oh, Knights of Wands. Oh, regenerative effect. Very good. Okay. Four Swords. Clarified by death. The Empress. The Knights of Wands. That's terribly interesting. We used to work with this person? Oh, we haven't worked with this person in a long time. Oh, we haven't worked with this person in a long time. Oh, 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 oh. But we know who they are. The Empress says, um, highly productive. It is coming across heavily. As, I don't normally do this because essentially tarot is meant to be sexless, but it is coming across as a female. Uh, this is someone we haven't worked with in a long time. Uh, this person's highly productive. They are highly productive, but we haven't worked with them in a long time. Transformative effect, four swords. It's been a minute. Oh, we want to see if they want to work on something. With, okay, cool, 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 cool. That's where the project person is being associated with that person. We know that they can produce. I told you there is a concept of we can, don't let my eyes go in. If the camera's closer, which means the lighting is closer, which means it's burning my eyeballs. That's why I keep looking away because my eyeballs need a break. <laughs> People keep asking me about that. It's really simple, guys. If you had any idea how much light a camera needs so you can see, if you had any idea... And it's like, oh, it's just a ring light. No. <laughs> I promise you it's more than just a ring light. <laughs> anyway. Um, okay. So we haven't talked to this person or worked with them in a while. There's been a restoration period. Perhaps you two haven't worked in projects together for a long time. And you're looking out. It's like, I wonder if we can kind of get that back together. Because you know what? That's a good way to uh, generate some income on the side with that person. We used to work on that. And we worked really well. I wonder if we could get the band back together. I got you. I got you. I got you. We got some energy there for that. The Knight of Wands. Yeah, that's your personal energy. I think I could go reapproach this person. Let's see if we can get that going again. I got you. I got you. Uh, it looks like they have a success principle attached to them. It feels that way. I just think it's been a minute since you two have worked together. Four Swords, Calmness, Quiet, Restoration. It's been a minute. Perhaps they have transformed in their own work career. And you have transformed in your own work career in your own ways. So it's been a while since you two have worked together. So whatever this is, Ace of Wands, so that, is that what that is? It's not a brand new opportunity. It's a renewal energy. I got it. I got, it takes me a minute, honey, but I get there. Okay. It takes me a minute, but I get there. <laughs> No, uh, but the Six of Swords is interesting. You have to move towards this. There might be a distance here between you two. Or something that you have to get back to, traverse in time. You have to get back to it in time. Again, it's. I guess it's been a minute, huh? So you're showing me renewed effort, renewed energy towards this. It's exciting. You haven't worked with this person in a minute, so you'd actually have to drift back to where they are to reconnect. Because you're showing me heavy. I would love to work with this person again. It's been a minute. Energy. Very good. Okay. I think we got it. I think we got it. Show me that Ace of Cups, please. Show me that Ace of Cups. Show me that Ace of Cups. Honey, it could be anything from a side gig, you know, to... Um, where you both make a little more on the side, something like that. That's very specific. Oh, you have those options. It's just one of many things. It's just one of the many ideas floating around in your head. But it's not known to you yet, the moon. So we haven't quite connected with them yet. You got a couple of ideas floating around in your head, don't you? Well, of course you do, your Aries. All right, let's see that Ace of Cups, please. Oh, Five of Cups, the Devil, the High Priestess. Oh. Why are we worried? Why are you worried? Why are you worried? Why are you worried? Your intuition's here, so why are you worried? Why are you worried? Why are you worried? Oh. You don't know if they'll go for it. Oh, well, why? You two have clearly worked together before and it was successful. That's been with you. That's been on your mind. Um, I don't know why. You're showing me that same Ace of Wands here with that Six of Pentacles. You two know how to balance and work together. Okay. And this is a strong truth. These are truth principles also based in reality. So you're showing me heavy renewal effort to tag team with this person. Side work, project work. You both benefit. 
they're highly productive and I, I get that it's been a minute since you've worked with them um, but there's a, this this is going to trump whatever fears you have around this generating something in the ace of cups that you both feel good about it why don't you think they would feel good about it that's that's fear not your intuition talking there might have been some disappointments between you two since you last worked together you know misunderstandings possibly a falling out I don't want to get into it that's the personal side I'm more interested in seeing if your idea is successful and by all rights it is okay so okay so that would explain it death perhaps you both went different ways in your career and um, perhaps there might have been some bad feeling when you last two worked together cool but it's looking like you understand that can be overcome okay um, we have a very strong knowledge of being able to balance with this person and then also work together with them uh, income seems to be generated when you two work together and that's a damn strong truth and you know it so I don't know what this ill will is about or this ill feeling about again I'm not getting into the personal side of it but that's not your intuition talking honey that's fear uh, fear of reaction fear of emotional disappointment are you afraid that they'll say no or they'll turn it down um, you seem to think that this person is heavily water oriented productive but water oriented and you're concerned about how they will feel on this particular subject so listen to your intuition not the fear okay um, because I see you wanting to do this there's a success attached to it strong truth um, you seem to know to some degree when you put your fears aside that this could balance or work so I mean if you two are able to work successfully in the past one of the best indicators of future is past success best indication of future failures is past failures <laughs> so if you two were successfully able to work together well in the past however it is you two might have left off that can be overcome so long as we keep the core principles in mind of cooperation uh, being honest showing positive energy you know listening to other persons misgivings and working it out um, that's what true balancing is it's not just oh everything's smooth and easy peasy it's no it's because the balance works is because the other person's cooperating when it's good and it's bad that's what cooperation principles are it's not you and I are working together because it's always sunshine and rainbows and puppies no it's because we know how to work together through other things too and that's where trust comes in ace of swords you know if we really want to work through this and join up and team up we can make things work in reality and make things work between us you know so I'm seeing both a bit of a personal side attached to this person as well as financial success concepts attached to them as well um, but yeah I, I just I was like hey, are you are you changing jobs no you're not you're not you threw me at first you showed me a couple aces but it became renewal energy really fast time has taken place I'd like to work with this person the last time I worked with them they were highly productive hopefully we've rested four swords so hopefully there's been enough time passed between you two to heal both your respective sides I see okay yeah 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 very good so yeah try not to listen to the fears listen to your intuition it, it, again if you balance before between positive and negative in the past you can do so again in the future especially since you're showing me time has passed and that you are both assuming the healing principles have taken place for you both then yeah there's nothing that can't be accomplished okay let's uh oh we tricky tricky trick yeah they might be a little bit more on the side of complex okay um, but the lovers you know in career says the ideal contract or the ideal working partner I have to agree there's something about here that when you two work together it's really great there's profit to be had and two people are highly productive you know so this isn't your main gig this is not your main gig even I, I said that honey I said that back here I said this is something we look forward to so it doesn't happen often so this is project work that perhaps happens with this person ever so often maybe once a year six months I don't know but it's not the main gig it's not your main income it's like a side on or an attachment um, but yeah it, it uh, I don't know honey it could be a fundraiser you know like when I used to do a bake sale for the school and that's twice a year so that would kind of qualify this I'm looking forward to it and I work with others you know um, it doesn't happen often but when it does a success you see what I'm saying it's like that I try to put it in uh, realistic endeavors for people that way you can get a better idea of what the heck I'm saying um, there you go there you go 
you know. You have options before you. It's not the only thing you're thinking of. I like your spiritual energy here. Some of you have done some really fantastic spiritual work. Um, energy healing. So you've already kind of told me you've had healing principles attached to you. And by all rights, it looks like they have as well. Okay? The only thing that's really talking here that's negative is fears, not the intuition itself. Because what you know is solid as hell between you two. Some of you are the mature man or you're thinking about working with the mature man. But somebody identified... I did say that this person felt female, so perhaps you are the mature man. Uh, five. We also have the indication of the world. The globe. So yeah, there might have been a cycle or two between you. Yeah, like I said, if you could work positively before, you can do it again. Okay. And the distant horizon, like I said, there's no rush. And there is community involvement attached to this. So whatever it is that you do, it has reaching consequence that help a larger extent of whatever it is I'm seeing here. Your project work with this person, be it a fundraiser or a side gig, whatever, affects the community in a positive way. You understand? So many people benefit. There you go. And it is on the distant horizon. House, home, somebody might work out of their home. Or it's very solid. Adjudication, justification. Strong sense of stability here with that sense of home. Yeah, it, it all makes sense. In other words, everybody benefits and it's stable too. It's well constructed, it's stable, it's forthright. It stands up on its own principle. So in other words, everyone benefits and it's coming from a good, solid, stable place. Okay? All right. I think that about covers it. Um, the gift. Innocent people are positively affected. I'm thinking here in career, some of you might work with kids. Um, I don't know why they'd be showing me confirmation of a child. Uh, I just know that there's a certain innocence here, sweetness, you know. It could be very simple in terms of working together for the right reasons and positivity. As I said, it affects many people in the community in the right ways. Okay? All right. Aries, honey, I hope this helped you. You put in the comments as you see fit. Take care. Be well.